Hi guys, I received a message from NoSarge118 and it says dual booting Windows and Linux. Hello, I was wondering if you know anything about dual booting Windows and Linux such sucks as Ubuntu. I have never wanted to try it on my own due to fear of messing up my Windows. Keep making the great videos. Thanks for your message, NoSarge118. And believe it or not, there has actually been a program that's tailored for someone such as you who um, doesn't know much about dual booting Windows and Linux. It's called Wubi and it can uh, enable you to uh, go to Linux and practically, well, a couple of clicks really. Um, so basically the first thing with anything you ever do, um, you have to back up first, so back up your data regardless of if, if this is working 100% or not. Just make sure you backed it up, either use online storage or anything like that and um, make sure everything is, is in somewhere else so you can get to your data in case anything does happen. Um, now, I would show you how to do this manually and how to uh, partition your hard drive and things like that to do it manually, but Wubi seems so much easier. There'd be no point and I'll be wasting time. So I'm just gonna show you, it's called Wubi. I'll provide the download link in the description. I've got this running in a virtual machine and hopefully we can get this working. Um, I'm just gonna double click Wubi. And as you can see, it says installation drive C, which is your main one. Uh, installation size, how many do you want to allocate to uh, Ubuntu? It says 4 is the minimum, so I'm just going to use 4. Uh, desktop environment, I'm going to use Ubuntu, which is the default. Language English, username is that, and password. Uh, it helps you along all the way, and I need to put in a password, so I'm just going to put in my main password. And I'm going to click install. And it's as simple as that. And what it's going to do now is download the uh, official Ubuntu release. Now that's going to take, by well, the looks of it, about 16 minutes for me. So um, I'm going to pause the video and once this has finished downloading, I will come back and tell you um, how it's going to work. So I'll be right back. Hi guys, we're back and I've got about 27 seconds left remaining on this install. I'm getting quite a fast download speed at the moment from the servers, so you, you should be able to max your connection out if you um, get it officially from this. Uh, set up box so 12 seconds left uh, apparently I've just been having a little bit of a look up while it's um, been downloading they can install a little bit slower than the CD but we shall see we've got one second no seconds so what this is doing is calculating the checksums now what that means is um, I've already made a video on this it checks the MD5 against the one that's on the website to make sure the download you get is um, real it hasn't been tampered with or anything so what the producers do the people who made this ISO file make a checksum of it uh, MD5 and then um, you can use an MD5 checker to make it to check your file against theirs to make sure it hasn't been tampered with because if um, any modifications get made to that file then the uh, checksum will change so this is just making sure that we have the proper file which is very good actually because we don't want to end up installing this Ubuntu with Wubi and then finding that we have a virus on it. So hopefully this will get done fairly quickly so I can show you. Um, if any install part takes quite a while I'll pause the video so you don't have to go through watching it like you are now <laughs> watching this calculate the checksum. Come on. Um, I'm hoping that I can install this because I can't resize partitions on this. Um, I've made another disk in case but I haven't formatted it so I'm hoping it will install on drive C and work fine. Alright, so it's writing some stuff and we need to reboot. So I'm going to reboot the machine. It's a great thing about working in virtual machines is that you can um, you can pretty much do everything you need to. Um, if it needs to reboot I can show you. So all right, we're now rebooting, hoping that everything works. Here we go, we've got Microsoft Windows XP and Ubuntu. So I'm going to click Ubuntu and we're booting Ubuntu without even needing to resize anything, without even need to, needing to insert a disk anywhere. Um, you won't need to insert a disk on yours either, you won't need to burn a disk. So I'm just showing you it working. Loading additional components. Looks like we haven't actually installed it completely yet, it's going to have to go through this whole image of installing. So I may have to pause the video in a second. But this is what will happen when your Wubi finishes its um, finishes its thing. So at the moment we're formatting the system .virtual .disk. This may take one to fifteen minutes. Oh dear. Oh wait, no. 
I'm not much of a... Oh. <laughs> okay, we're doing well so far. Detecting hardware now. This just looks a bit like uh, win um, Windows. Configuring the network. See, I'm not sure what's going to happen, so... Um, it's actually installing fairly quickly. There's, oh, it's actually using both of my hard disks, it looks like. Or is it? No, it's using drive C. I told it to write to drive C. I say, so it's installing a base system, we're on 6%. As soon as it gets to 100, I will unpause the video. Okay, guys, we're back and we're at 75%. It looks to be going fairly quickly, so I thought I'd um, unpause the video. 83% installing the kernel. May have to pause it again. Uh, the graphics have gone a little bit funny down the sides, but I'm not going to... I'm just ignoring that. And... You have five more seconds to change to 80-something else percent. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to pause the video again, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're at 97%, 100%, there we go. Sorry about that, <laughs> I thought it, would, it was going to finish. Oh, and we've still got stuff to do. Uh, select and install software. And we're at 1%. And is it going to go very fast? No, it isn't. Uh, you've got five more seconds to change. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to come back when this is done to 100%. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, guys, we're at 97%. It's cleaning up. So let's hope that uh, it will finish fairly soon. <laughs> if not, I may have to pause again. So let's hope we get to 100%. Okay, once it's reached 100%, I'll resume the video. Really sorry about this. Okay, we've hit 100% and this is what's happened. It's now finishing the installation. Hopefully we can get this installed as quickly as possible so I can show you. Running Precede. Oh, don't take long to do this as well, please. <laughs> I may have to pause the video again. Okay guys, when this is finished gone to 100%, I'll res resume the video. The system is going down now. It's reached 94%. It imported some documents from Windows somehow. And we're back in the boot menu. I'm going to go into Windows XP to show you that it hasn't modified Windows XP at all and we can still get into Windows there we go Windows XP just show you it's starting very quickly as I'm running out of time and we didn't have to um, put any CDs in and we didn't have to um, didn't have to really modify anything and it's done it on drive C, I said dr drive D, and you can see we started with Windows. And I'm just going to reset, oops, I'm going to reset the machine and try out Ubuntu. So this is such a great way to do it, and I think I'm actually going to put this on my system um, in a second, because it looks so easy, and, I, and I'm, I'm it's impressive that, that you managed to, they managed to do it without needing to even burn a CD. So... This is now Ubuntu, obviously it's taken some time to start, so in which case I think I'm going to have to pause the video. So bear with me a second, I'll be back when it started. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, Ubuntu won't boot, it's come up with an error. I can't access TTY, job control turned off. So I'm going to assume that it would work on a normal PC and doesn't work inside VMware. You'll notice I could get into Windows XP anyway if I wanted to remove it. So um, don't try this in a virtual machine because it will chuck you out to this. It basically froze for about... 30 seconds for, to a minute, a couple of minutes, and then um, chuck me into this. So I assume that, again, on a normal PC it will probably work. So uh, you may want to try it out. If not, you can go back into XP and remove the uh, the Wooby part, and it should do exactly the same apart from remove everything. So um, if you can't get it to install like this, then please let me know. If you end up with the same thing as me, let me know. I'll post a um, video on how to do this manually and get um, Ubuntu Linux running on a PC manually. So, uh, thanks for watching my video of this failing. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.